from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Time for. Yup, come on. I didn't check out all of Jancic with the Stars last night. I was in and out and watching other stuff, but shout out to Lamar Odom. You survived! Yeah. Oh. And by the way, he danced a little bit better this week than he did last week. I mean, last week, yeah. <laughs> last week he had the lowest score. It was a 16 or 15. Uh, last week was 11. 11? This week is 12. Oh, God. <laughs> But the viewers seem to like him and you know, he has a real good backstory and the girl who dances on him, I still don't know her name, but she danced on him real good. Lamar looks happy, smiling. Doesn't look like he's sweating and nervous. Well, <laughs> you know, they do that camera talk and in the camera talk, he talked about nearly dying uh, four years ago in the Nevada brothel. Well, take a look. Years ago, I was living in Las Vegas. Went to go hang out in a place where I had no business. I overdosed and wound up in a coma. While I was in a coma, I had 12 strokes and six heart attacks. But the only problem is that I still have memory loss. I didn't do drugs that night. I don't know if they slipped in my drink or shot it in my body, but I could promise the whole world I didn't do drugs that night. Now, come on now. Lamar, you know I love you. But we've covered this all during Hot Topics uh, since this has been going on with you. The cops said you had cocaine in your system. And they also said you had 10 doses of Viagra. In, in your system, in your system. So, you know, I, you know, and, and being that you come from addictive um, personality, even if you didn't do a whole bunch of drugs that night, what about the night before? And the night before that, and the night before that? And you know, it takes a while for stuff to flush out. I'm just saying, Lamar, it's okay. You're a better man today. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. Lamar try to pull a fast one. <laughs> anyway, so to my shock, they sent Mary Wilson home. Now I gotta tell you something. Now, last week she danced better than this week, but this week she still danced great. This is a 70 something year old woman. You know what I mean? She did a good job and looked good while she was doing it. And I was just a little shocked. This is the reason that I think they sent Mary home because at the end of the day, Dancing with the Stars is still a reality show and they like the, the drama and the backstory. And Lamar has a more relevant, better one. Yeah. Just saying. Hannah, the bachelorette, did really well. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So all in all, Dancing with the Stars is every Monday, eight o'clock on ABC. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Tristan Thompson oh. is still bothering Chloe. Oh. 
Well, Chloe posted a picture over the weekend. She recreated the uh, Anna Nicole, like, guest jeans ad type thing. She looks great, by the way. Uh-huh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so, I like the nails. I could just never figure out how you mix a meatloaf. <laughs> with, the na- with the nails. They, they look good though, but anyway, so his comment to her was perfection. And then he later deleted it. So what's your thought about this? My thought is Tristan and Chloe will always have to be involved with each other in some sort of way, because they have that baby. But um, you know, there's certain guys who, I know this firsthand, <laughs> will not leave you alone. Oh, they tell you you're beautiful. They tell you you look great on today's show. Oh. No, 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 no. They say silly things like a ship always returns to the port. This ship has sailed, honey. Who are you talking to? think that there's some people, whether it's a man or a woman, you know, when the relationship is over, you always try to get into somebody's head to see exactly where they are. Are they gonna take the bait? Are they gonna bite? You know, will you ever be back in their bed? Will you ever kiss them again? Will you ever be on a romantic dinner with them or will it always be family business? You know, Chloe has blocked him from her um, 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 social media. Or, or vice versa, something, whatever, social media. <laughs> but but um, you, you can't, once you have kids together, you can't block. I mean, you can block publicly, but you can't block private. Look at the little girl. Already a Kardashian with the shoulder down. <laughs> mm. <laughs> She's on her way. Um, but you know, you can't block, but uh, Tristan, leave her alone. She's obviously done with you. You move on. Isn't he accused of having a baby behind Chloe's back? Well, tr- um, Tristan. Yeah, Tristan had a baby right before he got with Chloe. Oh. oh. Mm hmm. A little boy named Prince. <laughs> <laughs> you know too much. Do you have a life? <laughs> Barely. <laughs> this show is all consuming, this, right? Right. This is my life. <laughs> Norman. <laughs> oh, Norman. <laughs> In the meantime, Michelle Williams from Destiny's Child is sick of being confused with white Michelle Williams who won the Emmy. I, I mean, and, and so after white Michelle won the Emmy on Sunday, black Michelle was bombarded with people on social media. So black Michelle went on a rant on Instagram Live. Take a look. How come when y'all are tagging and comp and, and congratulating a person, y'all, do y'all see that I'm black? When you go to my profile or tag, like when you search for the Michelle Williams, I am black. So I'm trying to figure out why in the world am I getting cursed out in my comments for Michelle Williams' speech, which I thought was her truth. I thought it was awesome. I'm so sorry that my namesake upset you. But can't you see that I'm black? You know, Speaking as a Williams, I must say that, that, that normally when people hear that name, they assume it's a black person. So for people who aren't familiar with Michelle Williams, the white one, they might have assumed it was you. 
And, but the rant was cute. The sunglasses are even better, <laughs> right? The sunglasses were everything. But um, that's like me when I, the, the late Wendy O. Williams who passed away. And when she died, my phone, I've told you this, was ringing off the hook like two o'clock in the morning. Hello? <laughs> and people are, are you dead? <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm talking to you, why are you talking to me like that? Well, the headlines are reading, Wendy Williams died. I'm like, no, that's Wendy O. Williams from the Plasmatics. Yeah. Not me, I'm here. Yeah. Play it. <laughs> Rest in peace, Wendy. Okay, so Halloween is coming and people are, <laughs> the worst holiday ever. People try to dress up into people who they actually want to be. You know, the church girls want to dress like sluts. <laughs> right? Down low gay guys want to dress like girls. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, they got a good shot of you in that. Yep, there you are. <laughs> Um, it's not my favorite holiday, but you know, according to the rules of daytime TV, everybody's gonna dress like something. I didn't do it one year and you, you guys scrooged me and I scrooged you back and the whole audience was dressed up, the staff was dressed up. I was the only one who wasn't dressed up because I was trying to speak in my truth. And the truth is, I still hate Halloween. <laughs> I like candy though. I like hard candy, I like a licorice, you know me. I like the, the Sour Patch Kids, I like the gummy bears, I, I like it all. I don't like chocolate candy though so much. Every once in a while, a piece of chocolate. Um, <laughs> anyway, so now here they are um, presenting a Mr. Rogers Halloween costume and fans are very upset. Oh, come on. Now, the Rogers family has not licensed this, so they're calling it the nicest neighbor costume. It's a wig, the two puppets, you remember King Friday, and Daniel the Striped Tiger. And then of course you get the panty shorts and the tie and you get the Mr. Rogers wig and yeah. And come on now, can we just leave Mr. Rogers innocent and for the kids? I, you know, I was the only one in my Hot Topics meeting who thought that this was horrible. I, 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 I think it's horrible. Like why are, why, like Mr. Rogers was never accused of anything weird. You know, he raised most of us, right? Just leave Mr. Rogers alone. And, you know, even if there was a Mr. Rogers costume, why couldn't he have on full pants and no belly showing? Like, why does it have to be slutty Mr. Rogers? No. And Tom Hanks is about to play him in the movie. So Mr. Rogers is very relevant now. Yeah. Like, I wanna, I, won't you be my? Uh. Anyway, the movie comes out on November 22nd. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure whether my friend Angela is awake or not, seeing as it's only like seven o'clock in the morning in LA, but good morning, Black China, if you are. Are you laid up with your new man? Oh. Well, this is what I called her about. I called her right before I came out here. I tried to be respectful. You know, Brendan's saying 10 minutes, 10 minutes to air. I'm like, wait, I'll hold on. Let me just call Angela and find out the backstory to this. You know, that's the purpose of, like I know these people, but I, you know, I'm not gonna sacrifice what I give to you. You know, so I, you know. So I like to do my back checking and she didn't answer the phone. So I text her, I said, look, I'm gonna be checking back with my phone during the commercial breaks. So like when we go to break, I'm gonna run to my office, look at my phone, see if she texts back. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know who I've become. Right, but I like her. <laughs> Me too, right. I like her. Look, okay, so she was spotted over the weekend in California with a man at a restaurant. Oh. Well, first of all, 
they look cute as a couple, right? She can't take a bad picture. That black china is a really beautiful woman. Short hair, long hair, black hair, green hair, blonde hair. She's a good looking woman. So, they were sitting at the restaurant and the guy starts sucking her toes. <laughs> now, if you, if you squint, then you see she's wearing Lucite high heels. By the way, I've seen her feet close. She's got some really good feet. Like, like they're small, they're narrow, they fit into anything. She keeps her toes done. They always look clean. Anyway, but he's sitting there in the restaurant sucking her toe. How uncivilized. I mean, that's, you know, that's a bit much. But the bigger question is, because it was in um, the New York Post, uh, it's all over the blogs. We have it here on Hot Topics. The question for Angela is, is this your new boyfriend, as I text you, or is this just a little something, something? You know? Now, when, when I went to her house, there was a man there who was as tall as this, but it was late at night, and you know, I, 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 it was my first time meeting him. I wouldn't know him if I saw him again, unless somebody said his name. I'm not gonna say his name. I don't wanna drag him into it, but, but no. <laughs> look, look, is that you, man? Look, look, China, is that him? Like, who is this man? We tried to Google Schmoogle with face identity. He doesn't play for the NBA. You no, know, he's not a ball player, he's not a rapper. We couldn't find anything on him. So when we go to commercial, I'm gonna go run and check my phone and then maybe by the end when I say I love you for watching, maybe I could tell you, all right, that's her boyfriend, or no, that was just a little something, something. I don't know. Anyway, carry on. <laughs> So in most cases, frugal is my middle name, you know that. Frugal, cheap, whatever you wanna call it. I don't wanna spend money, get it, give it to me for free, or I'm not doing that, whatever. Which, you know, I don't think is a bad quality to have in somebody, particularly when you get older and you realize, oh my gosh, other side of 50, who's gonna take care of me? Yup, gotta save my money, and they gotta save everything, you know? Uh, dresses and stuff, like this dress right here, I will wear this dress when I'm 90 years old. Yeah, uh-huh, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you, you know, like after your 20s or maybe your 30s, you start collecting the good stuff that will be timeless. At least that's how my mother and father taught me and that's what I'm passing on to my son. So anyway, Queen Elizabeth is reportedly as frugal as me, if not more. Look, she reuses old wrapping paper. Uh, clap if you do that too. I learned that from my mother. Wrapping paper is, is uh, like an antiquated thing. It takes up too much time. Although I was in charge of all the wrapping at our house for gifts. My mother would buy a gift for somebody. I'd always wrap, I'm a good wrapper. But, um, but now I save the bags. You know, you know, you get a nice bag with a gift inside. Yeah, you, you fold that bag up and save it. And pass it on with a new gift to somebody else. Anyway. Uh, she also, they say, uh, has guests sleep on, they called old sheets and mattresses. Well, excuse me? What is that? No, no, you keep that mattress. And then look, and then you flip it over for the clean side, and then you get rid of it. Look, I find nothing wrong with this. First of all, the queen has at least 150 bedrooms in her house. So how used could the mattresses be, you know? So I'm down with the queen. Also, she wears, she's got a, a glove collection and the gloves are like 40 years old. And the queen is known for sewing them back together when they get a little hole. Exactly. Uh, well, that means that these gloves would mean more to Charlotte who was her great, great granddaughter. You know, when, when Charlotte gets the glove collection, these gloves are going to have a story and sentiment behind them. And I find nothing wrong with this. You know? Uh, you, know uh, uh, you know, I'm the type, they like tissues. I tell you, only grab one, they're expensive. You know, <laughs> the selector size is the best invention ever. You use one selector size and you use it good, you dry your hands. And then by the way, use it to wipe off the counter afterwards. That's right and then you throw it away. Now, back in the day, 
back in the day, my mother would have us lay them out to have them dry. I come from cheap, so I know cheap, and we've got more great show for you. Up next, Nicole Murphy, Murphy is here to break down, um, well, stuff. So grab a snack and come on back. Actress. She's also a model. She recently made big headlines after she was photographed kissing a married man. She's kind enough to be here today to give us an ex exclusive and tell us her side of the story. Say hello to Nicole Murphy. Okay. Yeah. Hi, you guys. I was telling her, safe place, safe place. Of course, You know, yeah. thank you. Uh, you know, I called out to you through the TV and then you called back and said, I'll be on. Yeah. Thank you, Nicole. No problem, yeah. Shoe cam, please. Thanks for having me. Shoe oh, cam. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Well, I, I kept this simple today. <laughs> Cute. These, these are the ones that go with everything. Right? Good work. <laughs> right? Uh, and also, congratulations on being a first-time grandmother. Oh, my God. I am like just so in love with my little grandbaby. How Isn't old? She cute? Look at this. Adorable. Two wow. I can't get enough. I just want to eat her up. What's her name? Evie. Now, Evie is the daughter to your 18 year old. No. Oh, I'm sorry. My son. Who? My son and his girlfriend. How old is he? He is 26. <laughs> She's, Nicole, you are just a phenomenal just, looking woman. Oh, thank you. I mean, thank you. Thank you. I mean, honestly. She birthed five children, five children. Five. They all came out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> and so, um, and by the way, um, um, Evie's mom, uh, what's her name? Carly. Carly is gonna be in Coming to America. No, no, no. Is that the one? My baby, my, my youngest daughter, Bella, is in Coming to America too. Wow. But Wait a minute, she had to audition. It wasn't like, Daddy, give me the role. She had to actually get out there. What's her there. role? She's playing his daughter. Oh. She plays one of his daughters, yeah. I'm, no pressure there. I am so excited for her. You know, I mean, just to see her little, you know, going to acting classes and all that. So she's serious about it. Now, That's my baby right there. And, and she's 18? She's 17. 17. So you got one more year for those yeah, checks. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> okay. That's why it's important to have my businesses on point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But you all get along well. Like if you were to call him in five years and say, you know, Eddie, I don't need a lot, but can you, can you please float me something? Why don't you ask him that question? <laughs> No, in no my, I'm sure, I'm sure he In my would, mind, yeah. he if, would. If, if there was, yeah, I'm this baby mama. Yeah. <laughs> well. I, if it had to come to that. Though, yeah. You know. I mean, you have the most kids. The other ones have one or two and yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah, I know. You're the original. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> All right, Nicole, here we go. Yeah, here we go. So, Nicole was a hot topic, and she still is, for kissing a married man. Antoine, uh, no, that is not a, mm -mm, no, Nicole. No, not like that. No. No, I'm talking about, it. That it was wasn't a kiss. A, mm -mm. It was a, mwah. Okay. <laughs> okay. It was so, a frozen in time pick. You so know. this is Anton, Anton Fuqua, and we know him from d producing, directing, he, like he's a big deal in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And you two were supposed to, this picture took place in, oh, that's his wife. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> no, wait. I know, <laughs> I know, trust me, Wendy. Trust me, I wish it didn't happen. Okay, Re um, repeat where I this should, happened. Well, I think it was a moment where I should have thought more through the situation, um, made better judgments, you know? So it's something that I apologize for. What happened was there was a statement that was released. I did not put out that statement. I was actually on the airplane and I was okay, coming wait. back from Europe. They were in Italy at a film festival. Yes. And allegedly- But I was out there up for business. Okay, okay. There were some designers out there as well, so I was dealing with that. Okay. There was familiar faces out there. 
Um, and it happened. I had. A, where did this happen? I was in Italy. No, I mean, where did that happen right there? Because you all looked like you just woke up in the morning. No, we did not. Your body looks First phenomenal. First of all, I was at the pool. I was at the pool. Okay. Um, it was, we're on a different time zone. I was having a hard time staying awake. I was drinking an espresso. That's it. Okay, and, and you leaned in. Yeah. And, and kissed. It, it was a moment that should not have happened. I regret it, and I apologize for it. And I'm a human being. It was a mistake. <laughs> Basically, women, it's gonna happen to you. Do your research. Very much so. Do your research, you know. It happened. Mm, no. I mean, people don't kiss their family friends like that, I, I, I'm not, that's not the case. I did not release that statement, Wendy. Do you know Layla? I, I, I as by passing, like, if I see her somewhere, it's like, hey, I don't know her like that. Because they said you were all over family No, friends. they said, listen, let, let me tell you about social media. Uh -huh. Social media had it to where we were family friends, um, I was at her wedding, in her wedding, uh. Uh, kicking it at their house. It's not true. None of that is true. I, I don't know her like that. It's not like that. How do you that. know him? Through, I know him through just seeing him at events and stuff like that, you know? Well, let's take a look at Exhibit B. Your mistakes. I regret it. Yeah. It was a mistake. I'm human. Let's, you know. But not that social media, I have to say, social, social media. media is a social media is a mountain of its own. It's a monster of its own. I know, I know. Because I was hearing stuff that was not true. Okay, Wendy. well, did he tell you that he was getting a divorce? Listen, at the moment, at the moment, maybe I had a different impression of the situation. What was your impression? It, well, obviously, it was a different impression. If what was, was your kiss. impression? I'm not going there. Listen, Missy Pooh. Come on, you know, <laughs> you know what I do. I know what you do, and I, you see this hand. <laughs> I like your earrings, by the way. Thank you, darling. They're really beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. But, um, so, but I just want to talk about a little bit of the social media. The, it, it made not me social ask, media. No, no. Social media took on a mountain of its own, and like I said, no. Listen. I, listen, it said I, I broke up somebody's marriage, which is absolutely false. I never did that. There was a statement released by that ex-husband saying it's false, and no oh, one Oh, you're talking about when, when Lisa, Lisa Ray, Ray got yeah. involved and said you slept with her husband. Yes, and it's not true. No, so she, she talked real greasy on social media. I know, it's not true. First of all, first of all, her husband released a statement That was saying, a Turks and Caicos king. Yes, yeah, saying it's not true. Yeah, I saw that. Nobody focused on that issue. No one, they just but focused on... But he was caught on, in the bed with Roxy, so... But that has nothing to so, do with me. But I'm just saying, <laughs> who believes what he says? Okay, but... Men lie. But you know men lie. But I'm telling you it's not true. Yeah. Okay? So I'm just saying, what I'm, what I'm talking about is that no one focused on him making that statement that it's not true. They just focused on all the other stuff. They were just spewing things out like... I, I wasn't was focused building. on anything but the two pictures. Yeah. I know that. I'm just saying. Listen. Now look at here. Like I said. Did you, did you at least send Layla a muffin basket? I apologize. To her? I apologize to my family, her family. I mean, I you, apologize. On, I, on I made media? a mistake. I'm woman enough to admit okay. it was a mistake. But did you ever see her one on one? Like, if she's watching right now, and you know she probably is, look at Rambo's camera. Say something to her. Oh, Layla, darling, it was a mistake. I apologize, you know? <laughs> it is what it is. I mean, I can't. I wish I could take it back. I can't. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Is he, is he a good kisser? I ain't getting it. You know what? I'm... Okay, now look, I, I do know somebody. First of all, do you have love in your life now? Oh, no, I'm not. Mm. You know I like you, girl. <laughs> I appreciate you coming. You know, a lot of people are so scared of this show. They well, don't even want to show up. Well, you, let me tell you, when this happened, I actually stayed in my house for like weeks because I was just so people... devastated. And then the photographers were trying to catch me. Yeah. They couldn't catch me, and yeah. they would take old pictures yeah. and say I was somewhere, and I wasn't. Um, you know what I mean? That's what social media does. So 
Listen, you, got, you can't believe everything Stop that's on talking media. about social media. I'm saying... We're talking about I'm the talk, pictures. And, but I'm telling you okay. what it's about. Look, look, so do you have a boyfriend now? No, I'm, I'm single. Because I know I'm someone who someone. digs on your scene. Ooh. And I know this for a fact. His name is Shannon Sharp. Uh, <laughs> now, I don't know... Who, that's a, like a ball player, Boof, you said? He's, He's a, a, a football player, right? Or I don't know. You know. I don't no, like I don't know all the details about him. I was he trying is to... one of my biggest fans for some weird reason. He said he would eat your dirty drawers. <laughs> like he's he's into you. Aw. Shannon. Oh. Anyway, all right, so let's go on to the next part of your life. Yes. That part is done. Everybody will have their opinions of well, what I they mean, believe or I'm, what they don't. I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, we can move past this. That if I'm human. I, I'm sure everybody in here has made a mistake. You learn from your mistakes. Yeah, you do. You know? Yeah, you do. And I'm woman enough to admit it and apologize. And a woman enough to come here on the show and, and come face. here and face all you guys. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I love you for that. I love you for that, Nicole. Oh. Now look, so Nicole is an entrepreneurial woman. She's got a fitness app, which you can see. Yes. Take some lessons. Gotta take, take care of your body. Take care of your body. Um, and you also have a skincare line. I do. It's called Zobella. What I did was I took both of my younger kids' names, Zola and Bella, and combined it. Yeah. It's an anti-aging skincare line. What, one of my favorite products is Ladies. Um, I have a 60-second serum that you put on, and it tightens your skin. Just... No, we like that. We like that. Yeah, so uh -huh. it's great. Uh -huh. And everybody in the audience has a piece of Zobella going home with you today. Oh, yeah. Yes, <laughs> Don't try to bribe us. Don't try to bribe us. But look, good luck with everything. Wait, no, I got something for you, Wendy. What? I got, I got my uh, friendship, love, and peace. You know I had to do the Wendy 2 bracelet. Uh, this Thank is great because you. you can wear it as a necklace and it's your bracelet. It's the Wendy 2 bracelet. It's available at NicoleMurphyEnterprises.com. Thank you, Nicole. All my sites, all my... Stop trying to bribe me. And my friendship, love, and peace. This is what I'm about. Thank friendship, you. Friendship, love, and peace. We guys. see. I am not about the drama. No! Ah! Uh, so anyway. Give it up, everybody, from Nicole Murphy. For more information on skincare line, go to wendyshow.com. Up next, we're in the Wendy kitchen. Keep it here. It's time to get to eating. <laughs> and here's our next guest. He's a celebrity chef and co-owner of a restaurant called Charlie Kitchen here in New York City. Please welcome to our show. Oh, he also um, does one pan recipes. And today <laughs> we're meeting Chef Dan Churchill. First hey. time. How welcome. You doing, love? Lovely to meet you. Hey, everybody. From Australia. All the way from down under. Okay, I'm hungry. Are you ready to get into it? Yeah. So, guys, this is all about the one pan meals. All right now. <laughs> Easy. We've got a whole segment. We'll get there. Okay. <laughs> So what we're going to be doing to start off with is our easy one pan chicken dinner. Okay. Chicken is cooking in the pan. Yeah. All right. All we're going to do is now, take I this... I see you have thighs. I do have thighs. Are you okay about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you can also do breasts if you wish. You're just going to take these chicken beautiful thighs out of the pan. Mm. And it's already created this lovely juicy goodness down the bottom, right? We're going to take mm -hmm. advantage of that and put all these vegetables we have here, which you can get from any good supermarket, straight into the pan. There's something sweet in here. Natural, oh, that's the onions. It's, oh! Yeah, the onions naturally I love red onions. onions. How good are they? Do you so like tasty. them better than white onions? I do, actually. Me too. Because when you get a little, uh, you know, little lemon juice to them as well, they pickle, a little sweetness, a little sexiness to them. Where'd, hey, you, learn, hey. where'd you learn to cook? I cooked, uh, I'm self-taught. So I cooked with my family since I was about 12 years old. Uh-huh. Uh, and we had a lot of fun and games around the kitchen table. And then that led me to wanting to help my mates impress some lovely ladies. Yeah. And so uh, I created a couple of recipes and it led to my first self-published cookbook called Do Food. And I love Brussels sprouts too. They're lovely, hey? They're really Now, what good. is that right here? Is this a potato? That is a uh, butternut pumpkin squash. Okay. Now, Wendy, how good's your salt bay? Oh, what? How good's your salt bay? Your little salt bay action. You no, I like salt. You want to season for me? Yeah. What's this, guys? How good's this? Oh, yeah. Really? All right. 
<laughs> so all we've done is kale. That's kale. So there's the lovely greens. So all we've got in here is our vegetables, chicken back onto the pan. I love a one dish meal. That's good, and it's an easy washing up as well, right? Yeah. And then after that, I'm just going to chuck him on. All you do is put it in the oven. You haven't done anything else. Now your skillet, do you normally wash the skillet with salt, uh, soap and water or do you no, wipe it out? definitely like not. Food? You want to keep it seasoned. Yeah. yeah so don't wash your, uh, your pan what at all. What are you doing? That's hot. Uh, yeah, no, I got you. I got okay. you. I got you. All right, so I'm just going to swap that over. That's going into the oven for about 25 minutes or oh. so. Voila. All right. <laughs> now, you can create, you can create a sauce. You can add a sauce, add some stock to it. Stuff by itself. Oh, you want to add that? A little that? Mm. There you go. Oh, yeah, get that in here. <laughs> right? Sauce is good. Sauce is good. Mm -hmm. Approved by Wendy. Mm -hmm. I like that. So over here... One of my favourites. We have cauliflower rice, OK? So all you need to do, cauliflower florets into a beautiful little food processor. I used to make this for our son to make him eat vegetables. Really easy, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah. Do you have kids? I don't, actually. Do you have no. a girlfriend? I, I do. She's lovely. But I have a lot of single Aussie mates. So Aussie friends, we call Is she her. Australian? Uh, she is Australian, actually. Okay. I met her over here, though. You're using the white onions in this? Yes, this is white don't onions. Don't you think the red would make it more colourful? Uh, it would, definitely. You okay. know what? You can make the recipe. I love that. That's great. No, but, <laughs> no we, might, we might have run out of red onions. Maybe. In no. the windy kitchen. Oh, okay. There's the colour. So there you go. You now, like what's that? that? Turmeric? We've got turmeric, cumin, cayenne, and a little bit of paprika as well. Okay. Add in that some garlic, our salt and pepper. Oh, it comes out this colour. like that. Okay. Beautiful coloured, yeah? And you just add some stock, season around, and easy as. Mm. So that's like anything you guys can do at home. Mm. Cauliflower, mm. caramelised onions, or easy. Mm. Now, the last one, Wendy, sweet dessert. This is, this is two in one, all right? So you've got a crumble. Mm. You've, you've got the crumble from a granola and then the beautiful apples that are already seasoning away. We have coconut oil or olive oil in a pan with some lovely apples. You can use blueberries. You cook for Tiger Woods ex-girlfriend Lindsay Vaughn at the Olympics? <laughs> I did cook for Lindsay Vaughn, yes. She's a lovely Is that girl. all you did with her? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Now she's a lovely yo. She's got shout out to her, her new fiance, PK Subin. Okay. Bola. <laughs> Into this bowl, we've got our granola. Uh, we've got some coconut, and of course, a little bit of some natural no, sweetness. Wait, what is this? Um, what is this white stuff? This white stuff? That is coconut yogurt. You can use natural yogurt, yogurt okay. coconut yogurt, whatever works. And all you have to do is just mm. put your granola on top like this. Texture. You like it? Mm hmm What do you like about? Do you like sweets? Not really. You don't be sweet, you are. Mm -mm. That's good. I like candy. You like candy? Yeah. <laughs> but this is really good. Nice and easy, yeah? I like the texture and I love granola. Well, there you By go. By the fistful. Like the yogurt. And you can just take that straight to your table and everyone can just kind of tuck in. So three one pan easy uh, meal options. How long have you had your restaurant, Charlie? Uh, Charlie Street's been open for about a year and a bit now. So good down in you. Nolita, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. And what games. do you specialize in, the one dish meal? Uh, down in the Charlie Street's like a very breakfast uh, and lunch orientated. So the bowls, all the lovely coffee. Australians are big into coffee. Uh -huh. So we love our coffee program. So if you ever want to have a lovely little- uh, I'll be by. Say come by. <laughs> well, we made a new friend, everybody. Give it up for Dan Churchill. For more information on these delicious re recipes, um, you can check out his new podcast or go to wendyshow.com. Thank you. Ask Wendy is next. All right. We're back. And it's time for Ask Wendy. Everybody have a seat except for you. Come along. Hello. How are you doing? How are you doing? Who I'm, are you? I'm Christina. Where are you from? I'm from Long Island. What do you do? Um, I work at a school. Were you familiar with the Nicole story? No. No, I wasn't. Oh, we mm -hmm. filled you in though, right? You did. You having a good time here? I am. I good. Am. All right, how can I help you? Well, um, so I have this older friend. She's about 10 years older than me. Okay, how old and, are you? Uh, do I have to say? Well... <laughs> A little older than 21. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> um, but we've been friends for a little while, okay. and she's got an older son. He's 22. Okay, here we go. And uh, here we go. She had a party over this summer. And who drank too much? We all did. And who who <laughs> jumped in bed with the son? I did. I know my people. You do. I know my I know my people. I know my people. <laughs> okay. So, how do I go about? Telling her without ruining this friendship. You can, you can never tell her that. No. You can never, wait, co-host, co-host, simmer down, simmer down. Um, you can never, first of all, are you and the son still in contact? Yes. Okay, so this was over the summer. Mm -hmm. And about how many times have you slid down in his DM? <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Mm, I know what you're saying. More than 10? Yes. <laughs> 
right. When's the last time you were with him? Over the weekend. Okay, well, okay. well I know my people. Um, you can never talk about this. You also have to stop this. Because the friend means more to you than him? Yes. Yeah, you're not gonna fall in love with him, are you? No. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. No. Now the son is 21? 22. Girl. Mm -hmm. And how long you been friends with her? About 10 years. Okay, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, summer is over though. There's no more hot girls. <laughs> summer is over. Leave it alone. Okay. Deny everything. Deny. Are there any receipts in his phone that he can show to his mom? God, I hope not. <laughs> you, do you text him? I do. Sexy stuff? I try not to. Damn. All right, it's over. Have okay. an adult conversation with him and tell him why it's over too, okay? okay. All right, good luck All trying right. to keep that secret. You realize you're on TV. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> China responded, I got my phone, but not now. This is Julie, she's from San Antonio, Texas. We're doing celebrity face swap, okay? Yes, how are you doing? How you doing? Okay. <laughs> Look, two celebrity faces, we okay. blended them together, you have to guess both, and we okay. got a nice prize. Okay. All right, go. Oh, gracious, okay, hint, hint. hint. Okay, one is a female oh. rapper with a number one hit. Kirby. And, and one, okay, good. Braxton, a Braxton? No, and the other one okay. said a girl stole her food at the hotel. We oh, talked about it. girl, Liz O. Good, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Dinner for two at Serendipity, you're gonna Thank love you. it. We'll be right back. Yeah. Come be a part of my studio audience. You'll be called a co-host. The tickets are free. Go to wendyshow.com. Why not? We'll be right back. Okay, so Angela Black China got back to me. Thank you, Ange, good morning. It turns out the guy that she was with is the guy that I met at her house. She says she's not in a relationship though, she's single and dating. My last relationship, Wendy, was December of 2018. And there you have it, that's the show. All right, tomorrow, Nick Cannon is here. I love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time on Wendy, bye-bye. Nice.